Uh, good evening, everybody. It's October 17th, 2011, and uh, today I'm actually going to talk about something that I should have talked about yesterday, but in the stupor of the Cardinals winning the NLCS, I uh, was I forgot to upload something uh, in addition to my Cardinals video, and that is uh, the news that Dan Weldon, the IndyCar driver, was killed in a 15-car uh, pileup really early in uh, Las Vegas, I think it was, and uh, I saw the uh, replays of the crash and the photos, and uh, I watched the video like four times, and I had, I couldn't tell which car was Weldon's because it was a pretty high uh, aerial camera, but like three cars went flying off of other cars, went airborne, a couple of them flipped, uh, Will Powers, another uh, driver that crashed, I think, right in front, uh, right behind uh, Dan Walden and uh, Dan Walden for those of you remember won the Daytona or the Indy 500 earlier this year when uh, J.R. Hildebrand crashed in the fourth turn and Walden actually won the, Daytona, the Indy 500 twice so um, every time that somebody dies in, in, in Indy cars I mean it's it's a dangerous dangerous sport there's you can like it's amazing how safe they make like the precautions they take to make sure drivers are safe but the thing that sucks about IndyCar driving, NASCAR driving, any kind of racing you're going 200, 150 miles an hour it'll never be safe enough that's the sad thing, it won't, it'll just, it'll just never be safe enough it can't be uh, at that kind of speed, on that kind of intense, intense racing, bumping and all that stuff but this is I mean, it couldn't be avoided. Like he, his, he was way behind the initial crash, and everybody started crashing and taking up the entire track. And there's just nowhere to go when you're going that fast. So his car went airborne. There's like four explosions. I've never seen that many cars catch fire at in one race, individual fires. And he had guys sliding into fireballs, and it was just a mess. And it was very, it was, it's sad because he was only 33 years old and a very good driver. Um, so yeah, uh, Dan Weldon, rest in peace, 33 years old. See everybody tomorrow.